I'm saying? They grow up, we don't always make the right decision, but that's not because we're not a good person. It's not because it's not a good heart. You know, it's, it's because the situation that you grew up in. What's the word, too, man? Hey, BJ here back with another video the whole time. I got my pops here again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, um, before we get to this video, thank y'all for 15k on the last video me and him did, you know what I'm saying, about, um, what was it, One Piece? <laughs> Dude, it was about, I think it was about One Piece, wasn't it? No, 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 it was about, uh, it was, uh, the, the people with the, uh, black people. Naruto. Naruto with the uh yeah, yeah, dude with yeah, the pain yeah, talking about yeah, his uh, yeah, yeah. so yeah thank y'all for 15k on that one man uh but I, I was looking through the comments man and one of y'all said that y'all wanted him to react to um Vegeta's Atonement off Dragon Ball Z um I got it right here pulled up you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go ahead get it you know get everything cracking and popping for y'all man so y'all can just uh y'all can just see his reaction and what he got to say about it you know what I'm saying I'm gonna actually say what I gotta say too like you know what I'm saying? Cause Vegeta, I ain't gonna lie, Vegeta, he he, it's been a journey. Like when I watched, I had rewatched Dragon Ball Z a couple, couple months ago, and it kind of like it's different. It's it's different once you watch it now from like back then. Cause like if you've seen more animes and stuff, you you, you get like a different perspective on characters and stuff. So yeah, I wanna say I wanna say what I gotta say too. So before we get into this video, um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, man. Get to 10k, we almost there. Uh, follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, that's where I update y'all on all the videos and everything before we fly you up. So, yeah, man. Turn the post notification bell on too as well, man. We finna get straight into this video. All right, man. This is Vegeta's Atonement, man. Finna get straight into it. Uh, so basically, Vegeta. You know, what I'm saying they, like I said, they just got done fighting Majin Buu. I think Vegeta and uh, Goku just got done fighting, but. What Piccolo? I think. What does he? What did occur? I think he finna see uh, what what Vegeta like. You know what's on what's on what's on his mind because he he was possessed with a little Majin Buu symbol thing at first, and I think he oh which it. which Majin the, regular Majin Buu. Nah, Majin Buu. it was like a Majin, not Majin Buu. You know that it was like a little small insect dude. His name was like Majin, like. That was his little thing, but it was an M. You know, it's an M. And like this right here. He was like a clone. Yeah, this right here. Majin. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you know. That's how you see. Yeah, if he got But yeah, he he kinda over overthrew it, so he he still him. Mm -hmm. And I guess Piccolo trying to see what it what was on his mind. And I guess Vegeta, he kinda like had a little life changing experience or something, like that made him wanna do something good. Mm -hmm. So now he just taking all the stuff in his own, it matters in his own hands and stuff, you know. Like the world about to end because of Majibu, Majibu is like. Majibu like, won. Yeah, he basically yeah. just beating everybody. Yeah, Goku gone. Yeah, I think Goku, yeah, Goku down. Vegeta yeah. beat, beat Goku. Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta beat Goku. And that's Vegeta, how he got the fight. Yeah, Majibu. Majibu. That's why, yeah. Because you know him and Vegeta, him, Goku and Vegeta yeah. had that little rivalry, so. It's been a minute since I watched this, but I had heard of Vegeta, I think I understand. Vegeta, I think I understand. And one day, so will Trunks. Trunks and Goku. Take the two boys as far away from here as possible. Go now, of course. It's time. Hurry! You'll die. You know that. One thing I'd like to know. Tell me, will I meet that clown Kakarot in the other world?
I'm not going to lie to you, Vegeta, although the answer may be difficult for you to hear. This is the truth. Goku devoted his life to protecting the lives of others. Because of his selflessness, when he died, he was allowed to keep his body and travel to King Kai's planet. You, on the other hand, have spent your life in pursuit of your own selfish desires. You've caused too much pain. When you die, you will not receive the same reward. Oh well, so be it. That will be all. Get out of here, and hurry! Dang, I just realized. They they skipped the part where he was talking to his kids. Cause his kid the kids was knocked out because he knocked them, Vegeta knocked them out because they wouldn't leave him. And he was trying to get them to leave. So. Yes! That's right! Huh? Your fight is with me! The others are of no concern to you! Got it! You big bloated balloon freak! for someone other than himself. Controlling his own fate. of light, having made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of his loved ones. His name was Vegeta, a proud Saiyan Prince. Uh, hey guys! But uh, yeah, my, my thoughts on it though, 
I ain't gonna lie. Like before, before that, you know what I'm saying? Vegeta, he was real. He used to get on my nerves, though, you know, with his actions and stuff. He did a lot of stupid stuff where, like in all the other sagas before that, like Cell Saga, he did something dumb. He did a lot of dumb stuff. And he just used to, he used to make me so mad. But after that, though, I was like, yeah, I got kind of, I got kind of respect for him now, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? He just, he manned up, did what he had to do, you know what I'm saying? I heard Tyrese, he said, he said the art of Dragon Ball Z, he don't, he don't like that. That's why he made him like that. Mm -hmm. He made everybody like not like him and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Um, bro, that's that's coincidental. Um, yeah. Because of my thoughts about Vegeta. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts? My, my thoughts about Vegeta is actually that he's kind of like the black man, um, the outcast, mm -hmm. the, the one that's always pushed aside. Mm -hmm. And in that we in the whole of the situation. He may have been doing the wrong thing to other people for, for but for a good reason. Like yeah. it's, it's like growing up the way I grew up and then, you know, people my age and some even some people your age, you know what I'm saying? They grow up, we don't always make the right decision. But that's not because we're not a good person. It's not yeah. because it's not a good heart. You know, it's it's because the situation that you grew up in. Right. A lot of times like you know, you know, you you know, you all were born in the project. You know, the thing is, is that I was too, and I didn't want that for y'all. So mm -hmm. that was one of the reasons why I did certain things that was not may not been good for through other people's eyes, right? But it was what I felt what was best for you all. Mm -hmm. And just like with Vegeta, you know, knocking out his kid, you know what I'm yeah. saying, his nephew. You know what I'm saying is is certain things. You know, some, sometimes you you have to do what you want to for the best of well, your children, your family. Mm -hmm. It's not just your children because you know I would do the same for Devin and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Anything else, you know, you know what I'm saying is is this that way. You know, so and like I said, it's coincidental that you said that the part of Dragon Ball Z didn't like it yeah. because oh yeah, man. yeah, most of the the world don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, he said his opinions on it. Uh, mine, like I said, mine, Vegeta, he earned my respect after that. He earned my respect, I ain't gonna lie. Like I started seeing, I started seeing how he thought about everything more, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Better. And you know, things through. He yeah. saw it, instead of just going off a re or a reaction, you know, you think, you think about what it is that did. Or and then the consequences, not just for you, but for the people that love you and that are around you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I believe that after that, because he came back, because it ain't the last one. Yeah, he came back and yeah, so yeah. So yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? He ain't go. So you know, you know, it would. It's that's the thing. Is that especially I, I can't really. I don't necessarily want to put it on just black people. I want to mm -hmm. say that with men. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That when we we go through hardships, we go through. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stupid times and dumb stuff we do dumb things yeah. you know with that being said and in our heart is what this is what's really on our mind it's not the necessarily what we thinking you know yeah. or what we doing but it's what's in our heart that's really on our mind but what I would employ to anyone that's listening is don't always use your don't always use your mind you know or, or your heart you know what I'm saying because you have to it's a fine balance between it between mm -hmm. what you're doing and, and what you're doing it for because sometimes the decisions that you make with your heart and you're not thinking about it, you will harm not only yourself but also the ones that love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That was that. Oh, that was Vegeta's sacrifice. Um, comment down below what else y'all want us to react to, man. Anything anime related, any other regular videos, it don't matter. Just let us know. We're going to be our honest full blown opinion on it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, comment down below what y'all wanna see next, man. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Black, man. <laughs>